Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we have Amagansett Press exposing Josh Abrams for the scammer that he is. Now, this video is very old, four years old to be exact, but it's very important because I think pretty much nobody has seen this. This is at the beginning of the frauding community when Amagansett Press and Josh Abrams were just starting off and Abrams was already scamming people. Now, Amagansa Press at first thought it was hot tow truck girl that was running the scam, but in a later video, he proved that Abrams was also scamming. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Deal. Uh, those of you who've been following Accountability For Now's channel uh, know that he was arrested a couple of days ago in Boston um, at a straight pride protest. Um, I put up a couple of videos in support of Josh, who is uh, the guy that runs the Accountability For All channel, uh, because based on what I saw in the video, he was, what I thought at the time, wrongfully arrested for freedom of speech, for expressing his free speech. His uh, friend, Danielle, better known as Hot Tow Truck Girl, uh, was obviously pretty upset after he was judge made a decision to hold him without bail um, and we were all in shock I mean you know what it, it's a terrible thing to be put in jail and be held without bail um, for civil disobedience you know arrested processed booked released later court date the truth comes out we can all live with that um, being held without bail is a serious thing so right off the bat, Amagansa Press should have known that that's pretty suspicious. I mean, to be held without bail, that's a very rare thing to happen. Maybe if it's a more serious case, like aggravated assaults or worse, I would believe it. But for something like just acting like an idiot at a protest, that would be very unlikely that he would be held without bail. Let's keep watching. Um, and uh, I felt like I wanted to try to bring some exposure to the situation and put a couple of videos up and uh, make sure the word got out and Josh got the support he needed. Um, now where the problem comes in is Danielle, who I'm not sure if it's his girlfriend, friend, whatever she is, Danielle, a uh, hot tow truck girl, uh, made a video saying that bail status had been updated and that Josh was now eligible for bail release in the amount of $800. Great news. Um, she put a call out for donations for people to help and support Josh, uh, which a lot of us did. And, uh, you know, there's also, uh, I'm gonna address all the facts here. To come, you know, it's come to light that Josh has a past criminal history allegedly and he's been arrested and there's charges pending and I don't know if he's been convicted or he hasn't been convicted or what the situation is I wasn't dealing with any of that all I saw was somebody acting civilly uh, yes he was yelling out fuck the police okay I would not go into a situation like that and stand there yelling fuck the police you've never seen me do that before and that's not something I would do but at the same time he's got a right to do that so here, once again, Amagansett Press is totally wrong. Josh Abram is not allegedly a criminal. He is a convicted felon. For what crimes, you may ask? Well, you have assault with a deadly weapon, assault and battery. You have intimidation. And if you don't believe me, well, let me just roll the clip. Um, and that's what he was doing. So she comes out, makes this video, says he's eligible for release, $800 bail, raises the money, uh, puts out some story saying that he'll be released within three to seven days and uh, he's going to get out. Now, I start seeing all these comments and videos and uh, people saying that it's not true. 
and he's being held without bail and basically calling Danielle, hot tow truck girl, a scammer and saying she fraud ripped everybody off. Um, which initially, I said to myself, these people are crazy. Who would do that? Who's going to go online and beg for money and make up a story about Josh being eligible for an $800 bail? Who's got, I, I, that would, the, in my mind, I couldn't even imagine anybody doing that. If that's shocking to him, wait until he finds out about Jeremiah Payne. He's literally going to fall off his chair. Okay, so I guess I'm a little naive. And I'd also, on that note, I want to apologize to everybody because, um, you know, I, I got scammed just as you all did. But I, now looking back, I should have looked into it a little further. And I should have got some more information. But some of these things didn't come to light until after the fact anyway. So, um, comments are being posted. Videos are being made about... Um, Danielle being a scammer, hot tow truck girl, and uh, her making this whole thing up about the uh, the bail. I, 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 I just couldn't even fathom that. So this morning, I called up the Suffolk County Jail in Massachusetts where Josh is being held, and I spoke to uh, Sergeant Riley, who is the bail custodian for the jail. And... Uh, I'm going to let you guys listen to that phone call real quick. Now Records office. Yes, hi, good morning. My name is Jason. Who am I speaking with? Sergeant Riley. Sergeant Riley, good morning. How are you? Um, I'm calling to find out if an individual is uh, eligible for bail or if they're being held without bail. What's your last name? Last name is Abrams. First name? First name is Joshua. Hold on one second. Thank you, sir. He is no bail, sir. He has no bail, so um, because I was told by someone that he was being held uh, on eight hundred dollars bail that was updated bail, but that's not true. Who told you that? Uh, it was uh, actually his girlfriend. Okay, well, I don't know where she's getting the eight hundred dollar figure, but the paperwork we have from the court states he has no bail. Okay, so as, so as far as you're showing, he's being held until October third, until his next court appearance. Uh, that with, would be correct. With with no possibility of bail until then as of now. Correct. Okay, I appreciate your help, Sergeant Riley. Thank you very much. You have a sure. wonderful day. No problem. So I guess I was totally wrong and that he was held with no bail. Maybe it's because of his previous infractions and felonies that they decide to not give him bail. But this phone call establishes that hot tow truck girl is a scammer, that she was collecting funds for Josh and meanwhile, there was no way to get him out. But it goes even further than that because the next phone call establishes that Josh himself is a scammer. Check this out. Take it. All right, guys. Well, you heard it for yourself. Um, according to Sergeant Riley, who is the bail custodian, Josh is not eligible for bail. He's being held without bail, uh, has no idea where this $800 bail number came up where that came from um you heard it for yourself so again end of the day i'm taking the videos down um until somebody straightens this mess out on josh's side i'm gonna I, i'm removing myself from this situation i'm gonna take the videos down i put up in support of josh um because something stinks i mean i don't know if josh is involved with this I can't say. Um, you know, we've got to give the man a chance to speak for himself. His girlfriend could be out here. His friend Danielle, a uh, hot tow truck girl, could be out here going rogue, doing her own thing, and he might not even know what she's doing. On the other hand, he might be fully aware of what she's doing, and he might be a uh, counterpartner shenanigans. So um, until that gets cleared up, I am going to take the videos down. Again, I sincerely apologize to everyone who... Um, who got scammed, who got suckered by this girl uh, pleading for money on Josh's behalf. It's really, I'm still trying to accept the fact that she did this. I don't know how she thinks she's going to get away with something like that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, um, she's either extremely desperate and just doesn't care if she gets caught or not, or didn't think she was going to get caught. Um, 
Either way, guys, it's a sad day in the auditing community. Oh, but I'm again suppressed. Every day is a sad day in the auditing community because you guys are all frauds. Scams and grifts and auditing goes hand in hand. Why are you surprised? Anyway, let me play the last phone call, which proves that Josh is also in on the grift and is taking the grift even one step further. So between now and the next six days, pretty much everything taken care of except I have no way to call people. I have no way to get in touch with my lawyer. So between now and the next six days, pretty much everything taken care of except I have no way to call people. I have no way to get in touch with my lawyer. So these phone calls are about 10 bucks a person. So the scammer known as Josh Abrams is saying that they're charging him $10 per phone call to get a hold of his attorney which if it was the case, then they would be violating his rights. They would be violating his Sixth Amendment, which is obviously not true. That is BS. You are always allowed to talk to your lawyer. And Josh Abrams was trying to scam people by getting money to talk to his lawyer, which is despicable. Absolutely despicable. Now, I want to say one thing just to set things straight. I'm against the press is not much better. He's not a good person. Recently, he's such a hypocrite that he actually did a complaint to YouTube to get my documentary taken down, the one I made on him because I said his full name. So he is one of the biggest hypocrites you have on this platform. But this might be the one time in his entire life that he actually did something positive, which is expose this scammer. Listen to the phone call. Rick, can I help you? Yeah, hi, good morning. My name is Jason. Who am I speaking with? My name is Lieutenant Flambeau. How are you, Jason? Lute I'm sorry, Lieutenant, I couldn't catch your last name? Flambeau. Lieutenant Flambeau, how are you this morning? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good. I'm wondering if you could help me. I am um, trying to find out how your phone system works. Like, if you have an inmate there that wants to make phone calls, um, I just want to make sure they're able to contact their lawyer, so I'm considering sending some money to assist them, and I just want to find out, are they charged to make outgoing phone calls, and if so, how much is that? Um, they are. I don't believe they are to their counsel, but their, their calls are I'm charged. And my understanding is that you guys, the attorneys, have to set up an account with the securists to um, waive any charges. Oh, I got you. So he's able to call his attorney for free if the attorney sets up an account to do that? Correct. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, um, and if he wants to call somebody who's not his attorney, do you have any idea what that costs per call? I do not. It's okay. on the, um, when, when the family calls to set up the account, they, um, the charges and things are on the account. Okay. On the automated system. Okay, I got you. I just, more importantly, I just want to make sure he can contact his attorney. So that, that answers my question, I guess, Lieutenant. Okay. All right, well, I thank you very much for your time, and you have a wonderful day. You too, bye-bye. Take care. Okay, the only person I can call is um, a tow truck girl. If you guys could get a dollar, two dollars, we can get 30 bucks on the phone, that would be great. Love you guys. See you soon. And please help out. PayPal only. PayPal only. Spoken like a true scammer. Anyways, that's it for the video. I know it's definitely old news, but it might be new news to a lot of you guys, including myself. When I first watched this, I wasn't aware of this scam, and I'm glad that I was able to bring it to you guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!